It is my actual favorite day of the month today because it's Lumicrate Day! Hello everyone, I'm Rosa. Welcome. Today we are opening the, what month is it? October Illumicrate box. And I've been looking forward to this one so much because the book is yes. So I got my box here. I literally picked this up like 30 minutes ago. I am so beyond excited to open it. I'm trying desperately not to look on the side of the box because it says every item that's in it because of customs. <laughs> so let's get, let's get started, right? Let's just jump into it. I don't really remember the fandoms for this box actually but I have a feeling that it's gonna be good. I don't know. I always have a feeling they're gonna be good. So let's just, we got Revenge is Sweeter. Okay, ooh, exciting. What, what is that? <gasps> a mug. Wait, what is that? Ooh. So this month's theme is Revenge is Sweeter. As you can see right here, this is the spoiler pamphlet. We're not gonna look at that, but I guess what the book was based on the, <laughs> the artwork here, because they always do the artwork based on like, the original cover, the original book cover. So if you really, if you know what the original book cover looks like, you can probably tell from the theme art. So anyway, let's get started. I think this right here, what is this? Oh, oh that is cute. So sometimes in these boxes, they'll do items that are purely for like display purposes, like artwork or just little things like the replica of Riptide that we got in the last box. These are Caravel themed. So if you've read Caravel, you can probably tell. And they're measuring cups. Oh, they say, I was about to be like, um, it's kind of awkward because we don't use cups here. But they actually say in both cups and also mi mini litters. M mini liters. <laughs> so these are cute. They're measuring cups. I'm gonna be able to use these when I start cooking for or baking for Christmas, which I have plans to do with you guys as well on the channel. So that'll be a lot of fun. But caramel themed, I think it's super cute. Let's see who this was made by as well. As you can see, that is Legend's Hat. We have uh, a ticket over here as well. There's a couple of cards as well. It suits caramel. Also some roses. And the item is made by. No, no one designs. No one designs on Instagram. Alrighty. Next up, we have the con. I don't know what this is. I'm sorry, I went sm straight to sm smelling it before I realized that it was a candle. <laughs> I was like, open. Oh, it's a candle. <laughs> I don't know. It smells like cinnamon. Wait, what is it? Okay, I mean, it's a candle, but what? Amelia's kitchen candles kitchen candles. The Convergence, if you guys can see, I have no idea where this is from, The Convergence. It's gonna be so awkward if I actually have read this book. Honey and Cinnamon, oh, I love that. This screams Christmas to me. Like, yeah, also, I freaking love scented candles. I was not expecting there to be any of these in any boxes that I would ever get, simply because I know that they are a little bit pricey. So this is really surprising to me. <laughs> I'm gonna have such a hard time actually lighting this up and like burning it down and stuff. I, I can't make myself do that because I'm never gonna get a replica of it. But it is, what's it inspired by? Convergence. Oh, Black Sun. I should've known that from the artwork. Honestly, I should've known that from the artwork. I have not, is the Convergence a place? Honey and Cinnamon, yes. It is created by Amelia Kitchen Candles. Kitchen Candles and the label is designed by No One Designs. So the same person who designed the measuring cups or the labels on the measuring cups. I wish I could like share the smell with you because, or the scent. I should probably say scent. That sounds more positive, right? This definitely smells nice, <laughs> but it doesn't work over cam, does it? I don't, I don't know. We have an item that I'm super excited for. <laughs> As you can probably tell, deal with the devil, okay? And it's an exclusive mug from Illumicrate. So this one, I am fairly certain, is going to be Kingdom of the Wicked inspired. Ooh, bubble wrap. Oh my gosh. And they do these occasionally as well. And this will be my first one. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Okay, so this is what it looks like all the way around. We have, oh my gosh, what are their names? Is it Amelia? I forgot her name. It's designed by Rosie Thorns, by the way. I love her art, amazing artist. And she always does the mugs as well. This is so nice. Pretty nice quality as well, I would say. What is her name? Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to this so much. This looks so interesting. I'm actually reading this book in November, so this is quite fitting. I'm gonna be drinking from this mug when I'm reading the book, obviously. <laughs> this is super lovely. Very, very lovely. Oh, I should actually display the items up here while we're going through the rest. So 
I'm sorry, Groot, you gotta go. And the candle right there. And then the next item is a rather big one. And it's actually one that I was super excited for when they announced it because they do teasers on their Instagram every month. They do like teasers for two items and if there's a mug, they'll always tease the mug to make sure that people know which fandom it's fought for, inspired by. But they also teased this item and it's gorgeous. I have no idea how to use it, <laughs> but it's gorgeous. Okay, wow. So this is a book organizer and it's inspired, the artwork is inspired by Song of Achilles, I think. I'm pretty sure because because of the instrument <laughs> what's it called it's not it's I, what is it is it a harp isn't it, oh wait no it's not an instrument is it a bow well i'm this is awkward let's move on just ignore what i said i said nothing okay nothing is it a bow because that's really is that a heart wait hold on we gotta like give this some shape so we can see exactly what's what's happening on this thing oh Oh, this looks so lovely. So we got horses. There's a heart over here. Some pillars as well, obviously, with it being Greek mythology inspired. The book, or you know what I mean, hopefully. I don't know. Half the time, I don't know what I mean. But anyway, it's a book organizer, so it's for books. But the artwork on this is stunning, and it says, I am made of memories. So it is Song of Achilles inspired because the quote is by Madeline Miller. I am obsessed. I just don't know how to use this. Do I just place books in it and then place it on my shelves? I might do that. <laughs> I might do that so I can display this artwork because it is freaking amazing. That is gorgeous. Okay, where are we gonna put it? I'm sorry, Junimo. You gotta go. Me just taking off all the plushies on my on my shelves. Wait, look how well that fits. Maybe I'll just keep it there. I don't know. I might. It looks good with my Throne of Glass series. And you can't see down here, but I got Game of Thrones below it, so. It actually looks really nice right there. I might keep it there. Junimo, we're gonna have to find a different spot for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, next up, ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so every month they do, they include an enamel pin inspired by the book made by, wait, did I forget who, hold on a sec. I forgot to say who made the item. Oh, that sounds Icelandic. Maybe it's not. Rostatir? This is made by Rostatir at Dottir, at Rostatir on Instagram. Keep track of your never ending to be red pile for when you're not busy with revenge plots. Wait, what? Revenge plots? Is there revenge in Song of Achilles? I have no idea where that story is gonna go all of a sudden. I did not know that. Anyway, the uh, the book pin of the month is gorgeous. I don't know, you can probably tell what the book is <laughs> by looking at the pin now, but this is actually really, really pretty. Oh, and let's move on to the book itself. Well, no, 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 no. And the book is... Oh, wait, no, we have some character art, which is insanely gorgeous, what? Look at this character art. I mean, excuse me. Oh, this is witches steeped in gold. I was like, cause I'm pretty sure these characters are not from the book, which you will realize in just a second why I said that. But this is witches steeped in gold. I had to think about it for a second. <laughs> this character art is so gorgeous. What? Uh, witches steeped in gold is not a book that I've read, but I can appreciate good book art when I see it. So this is absolutely gorgeous. And it is made by, oh gosh, Toyin Ajetunmobi. Ajetunmobi. I'm not sure how to pronounce the last name, but that's who made it. I hope you can see it. Maybe the light is kind of annoying a little bit, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I think I said this in my last video, my last unboxing, but artists are just like, I don't, I'm in awe because so talented. Like this is why I love just scouting for book art on Instagram. I'll just, when I wake up, just lie there for 30 minutes, just scouting. <laughs> book art on Instagram because <laughs> people are so good and then sometimes you come across spoilers because they're mar not marked as spoilers and you're like oops I just ruined that whole book for me, but that's fine. <laughs> Whatever, moving on to the book itself. I thought this was gonna be a, this feels like a small, a small hardback. Anyway, so we got, I was like that, ooh, <laughs> she just fell out, okay. Ta-da, we got Iron Widow by she, Shiran J. Zhao. And ooh, it comes with stenciled edges as well. Look, very, very pretty. I actually really love this cover. I'm happy that they, did not end up making a customized cover because I really love the cover on this book. But this is really, really gorgeous. We have a signed book plate in here, signed by the author. And we have red end papers as well. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be, yeah. Ooh, what? Oh my gosh, okay. 
So there's some foiling on the on the naked hardcover and it says you've been living a dream for long enough Welcome to your nightmare. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was like a badass quote <laughs> I have heard only good things about this book by the way like everyone who's read it have loved it so i'm super excited to read it as well at some point but here you go this is the foiling it looks gorgeous obviously we have the bird and there is also art on the inside of the dust jacket which yes these are actually um i think these are the three main characters the lead lead this is the lead girl obviously i think we follow the lead girl but she's um gonna enter into a poly m polyamorous is that how you pronounce that word where it's more than two people i just don't know how to pronounce words because english is not my first language <laughs> but <laughs> polyamorous relationship so i'm pretty sure that's with the two guys you just saw basically this is a feminist kind of novel we have a woman a girl who is growing up in a man's world which i'm sure many of us can relate to <laughs> anyway in this world they have robots that are co-piloted by a man and a woman however they're mainly built for men so the woman who's co-piloting is kind of expected to pass away from it if that makes sense and our lead girl has had a sister or a friend who ended up passing away and she's kind of gonna she's kind of set on taking revenge for the death of her sister or friend is it a sister or a friend sister so she signs up to be a co-pilot in this for these robot suits or whatever they are i'm not really fully like 100% certain on the plot because the the stuff I read is a little bit confusing to me but it sounds like feminist vibes which I am here for it's something different from my uh, regular romances as well with it being polyamorous so I'm super excited for it only heard good things about it it's quite a ride as well as far as I've understood so that is really really exciting this cover is amazing wait is that the full like oh that is so cool oh the bird i wonder if those are like the full like you can probably sense there's a bird on the cover oh she's declared an iron widow after her first battle the most feared pilot of all so she gets a taste of power and now she's out to uh, it started with uh, her just wanting revenge but now she's out to basically save more girls from being sacrificed in this program i'm gonna call it a program because i don't really know how else to phrase it but i probably did not do that synopsis justice but what's new i <laughs> i'm better at summarizing books that i've read i feel so anyway, I'm gonna link this on Goodreads in the description box down below if you wanna go check it out. Only heard good things about it. I think I've said that like four times already, but I have been so, so, so excited to get this book. I actually pre-ordered it. And then when I saw that they announced, or announced that this was gonna be the next book in the box, I canceled my pre-order. <laughs> so it is one that I'm super interested in reading. And this is a gorgeous copy. I wonder how much it differs from the original. Obviously the stencil ditches are, I'm new to stencil ditches, so it's always exciting to see them, you know? And the next theme or the next month's theme is going to be Death and Fortune. I already know which book it is because it was another one that I pre-ordered that I canceled. <laughs> it's a book that I am super excited for that I'm actually planning on reading in December as well. So we'll talk about that once it's here, but Ooh, it'll be a while before it is. But anyway, this is what we got today. I think my favorite item is probably the mug or the candle or everything with art on it, which is literally everything. I don't, I'm obsessed. Listen, this is opening these boxes is basically like Christmas for me, so I don't know. I think the mug though is my actual favorite item. I mean, aside from the book. It has to be the mug. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this little unboxing. I hope I didn't miss anything. No, I didn't. Just wanted to make sure. I'll be back with another one in a month from now. And I believe I will have two Illumicrate boxes the next time, plus probably another box as well, depending on whether it'll arrive here in time or not. So we're gonna probably do a triple unboxing the next time, which I'm super excited for, because that means more books, more items. And also it's going to be almost December then, which just means you know, it's gonna be like a little bit of like pre-Christmas Eve for me. So I'm super excited. But I hope you all enjoyed today's unboxing. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you did. And also if you wanna stick around and talk about books with me and everyone in the channel, in the channel, in the comment section, <laughs> definitely hit subscribe. Also, if you've stuck around, um, leave a little fire emoji in the comment section because she's on fire, you know? I don't know where that came from. It was either a bird or a fire. So I went with, with fire. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and yeah, I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.